Hello, UEPath experts. Welcome to the UEPath Learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribe my channel. So, if you not had subscribed, please subscribe. So, today we will see about this UEPath apps cloud process bot. That means, so we will get the processes of the system from the cloud. We will kill the process from the cloud, right? So, actually, the Windows processes like Excel, Word, right? Uh, any any processes which is running you can monitor from the UiPath apps at the same time you can select the process how you are selecting the process name from the task manager and right click on the click uh, click on the end process in the same way you can kill the processes from the cloud UiPath apps so let us see the cloud process uh, bot okay so let us take a UiPath studio and click on the process process bot uh, so manage processes from what processes this is a windows processes okay from ui path apps okay click on the create so while it is creating just go to the ui path apps and click on the new app and uh, this is a cloud win win process manager okay cloud win process manager so let us see so this cloud win process manager so if you want to change the description you can change the description here yeah by default it came the container so let's go and build the processes uh, this this ui path bot okay so first of all what are the things we need so we need the what is a Uh, what is the process name we have to kill what is a command cmd type so if they ask the pro get the process <coughs> it will get the process if, if they ask the kill the process it has to kill the kill the processes okay running process list so this is the output thing output and we will send a, a list of system dot collections dot generic dot list of strings as a process names okay what we will do so we will send the process list so if they give the command like a kill so we have to send the process uh, we have to kill the process if it, if it is get it, we have to get the processes that is the command type okay and now use a, a switch operator to use a switch this switch and change that into the string and uh, here cmd type so what is the cmd type so if the cmd type is a kill uh, what we have to do if it's a cmd uh, get what we have to do so e instead of that what we can do so we can prepare the get process use the get process activity to get the all the processes basically this is a, a collection of processes but what we need we need the we need the only the list of strings so before that so what the first thing that we have to do we have to initialize this list string right so initialize the string assign operator and uh, use the oh you can just use a multi assign or assign anything and uh, so it is a running processes list equal to new list of string so this is the initialization okay after that after that let me remove the switch so get processes and what we'll do we'll just change the all the things to the process because we are getting the a list of a processes object okay so this is a i'm just making a proc proc and this is a all processes the output of this get all processes so all processes we give this one okay and use the assign operator assign operator uh, not assign operator just what we can do we can add to the collection collection okay. so we can add to the collection so this is a collection what is a collection this running process is a collection so running running processes is a collection and what is the process a proc dot process name okay 
So this proc is object, so process object, this proc is object, this proc dot process name, that is the way of adding to the collection. So what is the type of the collection it is? It is a string type, okay? So this will add everything into the, this one. So now, before that, if, if cmd type, or instead of that, what we can do, we can just simply, uh, da, 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 simply remove this one, only the process name. If the process name is empty, we are not any, uh, do any kill process, okay. So process name dot trim dot equals is empty, uh, not empty, not empty, then we will just use the a kill process. If it is not empty means it has something, so the request is for the killing the processes. What we have to kill? The process name is a process name which is coming from the orchestra, uh, UiPath apps. Okay. So simple thing, we just initialize the, the uh, thing and uh, we are just checking with the process name does not contain anything, just we are not uh, uh, killing anything. Uh, the, if it is not having anything, it is good to the else and it will get the processes. If it is already the, something and it will kill the process and again get the processes and fill the a list, this list, that is it. We are done with this process, run, uh, publish, so we publish the whole thing, go to the publish here, create a process, click on the processes and create a process like a, our, uh, what is that, uh, process bot, process, process bot. Okay, environment is a HP environment, click on the create. Now the process part is ready, go here, add the process, add the process. So select the tenant, by default it is a tenant is selected, select the folder which we, we have, you have a, uh, that process, this is a process what, this is a process name and output is a running process list. Now here in this container, what we can do, we can just simply we will add the simply a another container like a uh, just add the, this container and this container is like a horizontal we will put like a something like uh, uh, horizontal right okay. this is a main container this is a container okay drag this one to the horizontal lee and if you want to change the styles, so background color, and the spot it is changing, okay. Now add this uh, buttons, button, one button, add the button here, button, yeah. So this button, so I am just changing this button to the, uh, the button name is uh, like a get processes. So if you want to add the icon, you can add the icon like a icons, expand the icon or the process symbol, you can simply take a, any processes symbol, to 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 processes mm. what is the process symbol you can simply give the wheel or I am just giving this one dot okay processes and uh, add the another button uh, this is a, like a kill process process okay so this kill process also just add the cancel button okay kill process and get process so after that so what we can do we can just add the one list display list just drag and drop here the list. So this list uh, you can just simply um, center 
border size just give the size like a 200 size uh, this is a 500 or 400 okay mm, yeah this is a list of uh, things so what we can do here so you can just uh, simply uh, go here events uh, general there is a source bind so what source you want to bind click on here process just drag the running process list that's what output is right so go to the uh, get processes and here so here you can see selected value bind selected value also bind this process selected value okay selected value we bind it and the list we bind it the get process get process click the rule start the process drag this process here so but for the both for the both we are just uh, uh, here uh, for the process name we are not doing anything empty okay process name empty go to the go to the back kill process roll start process here drag and drop here okay that's it so let us check whether it is uh, able to do or not so i'm just opening the notepad some processes excel right some process i am opening uh, yeah we have excel over here notepad open what we can do just uh, this is our preview click on the get processes the get processes see here so it is running the process and it will retrieve the, all the process and it has to display in this uh, list box let us see mm, waiting to install okay it is running yeah it is running now okay so now it is download it's downloaded uh, the process uh, the package basically so it has uh, some errors let us see what is the errors okay go to the processes jobs jobs and see here what is the error uh, null reference exception object reference okay basically what happened here uh, maybe this name this name is null by default okay so what we can do process name is not is is not nothing okay if it's not nothing then go and do it okay just for our understand okay just for our understanding yeah let us click on the publish and every time we have to modify that process whenever you just release the new version here you have to modify the process with the latest version what is the process name the process name is a process bot here click this one and use the latest version which we uh, published just now go to here go to here and click on the preview click on the get process we'll see whether it is running or not okay it's running job started process yeah perfect okay so we got the all the list these are all the these are all the processes which it is running in the uh, the robot way the robot is executing okay so see here if you type the notepad notepad is there okay once i selected the notepad see the notepad is there uh, okay this notepad is there notepad and my app is there and i'm just i selected the notepad and kill the process see it is it is uh, just triggering from the uh, uh, website okay but the actual killing process getting the processes these things are all windows based level okay so let us see here uh, there is note notepad here the list task manager and if i type the excel excel this is excel click on the process again excel is open see here excel is open so once i click on the processes process the background excel is closed perfect okay so this is a uh, a really interesting thing so please subscribe if you not have subscribed my channel okay let us publish this one everything is working fine publish this one it's published go to the apps so we have a second app like a oh, cloud win process manager okay. get the processes list the processes kill the processes 
try it out thank you very much thanks for watching my channel please subscribe please share my videos so comment it so okay so if you want any new videos thank you very much bye bye thank you very much for watching this video friends so to get more hands-on experience you can join as a sky member please join this channel